Hi there, my name is James Winslow. I've been marketing online since 1999 and in this video you're going to see my tips about how to sell to restaurants. So if you're in the trade of selling to restaurants, whether, whether you sell production equipment, uh, uniforms, tableware, fridges, uh, freezers, uh, dishwashers, whatever it is that you're selling to restaurants, even food supplies, um, stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that very easily and make your life a lot, lot easier. And it's using this software called the Email Marketing Robot that I'm about to show you and I'll show you exactly how it works. So on this website, there's actually uh, lists of um, towns and cities that you can target. Uh, if you go to learn and support then resource library. So in this example, I'm going to show you how you can sell to restaurants in the United Kingdom, but you can literally target any place in the world. So if we go to UK towns and cities, you see there's loads of lists here, uh, loads of different countries. We've got a list here of the largest UK place names. So I'm just going to copy some of these for my example. And then I'm going to go to the email marketing robot software. So it's a very easy to use system. It's as simple as sending an email. Um, so just go to file, new campaign. And we're going to target restaurants. So I put restaurant. You could put in even specific types of restaurant. Maybe you sell to Mexican restaurants, uh, French restaurants, whichever. Um, so you can, you can put those in as well if you want to. Uh, and then put a list of towns and cities that you want to target. Um, maybe you sell in a specific country or maybe you sell worldwide, uh, but choose the towns and cities there. Click on save. I'm just going to call that test. And then we write our email. So let's say we're going to be selling uniforms. So we can put um, a subject line here. I'm just going to put uniforms for now. And then we type our email here. So the special personalization tags included, um, which will customize the email. So for example, hashtag greeting hashtag would put good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And we can even do greeting name and this will if it detects the person's name in a moment, when we click on start, it will put dear John or dear Susan, whatever. So here we would type our email. And I'm, just to make this video short, I'm not going to type a full email, but you can include pictures as well. So I'll just put uniform special offer. We're not going to send the email for real on this demo. But here you would put your email uh, you can include pictures and then you can get people to respond. So you can put a website link. Yours, sincerely, James Winsworth, etc. So you type your email there, simple as sending an email. Then you just select the country that you're targeting from this list. And depth is how many pages of Google it's going to search. So there's going to be tons of restaurants in London. I'm going to put 10 pages. Then I'm just going to make sure it's in test mode so it doesn't send the emails for real. But I'm going to click on start now and show you how the software works. So what it's doing at the moment is it's getting a list of restaurants in London. And then they're going to appear on the bottom half of the screen down here. Now it's going to pull in their email address, their telephone number, and then it's going to even send that email for real. And if it, if it detected a mobile number, it could even send them a text message. So I'm just going to uh, maximize the screen here so that you can see all of the details. So some that you might recognize are in the list. There's the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Um, the Ivy. Uh, who else do we have? Circus, Roast Restaurant. So the bigger ones tend to come up to the top of the list. So if, if you wanted to target just large restaurants, then you can set the depth 
to a lower number but if you want to target all restaurants then you can set the depth higher uh, in London there are so many restaurants we could even break down London into all of the boroughs of London to make sure that we contact all of them so it's going to look for contact details we scroll back up to the top of this list okay so I've got a um, an error message here because my password is uh, in, I changed my password on my e email so I need to change that before uh, before it will actually send emails for real um, but you can see it's brought up the email addresses for several of these restaurants already and it's found telephone numbers so the great thing about this software that's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to se selling to restaurants is that every time somebody clicks a link in an email that is sent you're going to get a notification of that so you're going to know who's potentially interested in what you have to offer that's going to save you a lot of time if you normally do telemarketing where you ring in everybody to find out if they're interested you can save time by knowing in advance who is potentially interested because they've clicked your link you'll know who to telephone first so that's going to save you a lot of time or save your telemarketing uh, team time so that you end up getting more revenue um, for all of the uh, wages that you're paying out for the telemarketing uh, the other thing that's great about this is that people can then respond back to your email if they are interested and then you can send them further information so it's fantastic for sales lead generation so to get this software just go to uh, emailmarketingrobot.com and click on the try now link at the top of the page here so click on try now and you can download a fully functional demo of the software that al allows you to send emails for real so you can put it to the test yourself and um, just try it for yourself before you actually buy it so there's absolutely no risk so do check it out at emailmarketingrobot.com. Hope you find this video useful and uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. See you again very soon. Bye for now.